What's up? Welcome back, guys. This is Brian, aka the Printer Boy, back with another print repair. Today, we're gonna do something messy, something cray cray, something you don't wanna do. Uh, if you don't want to, send it to me, and I'll do it for you. Anyways, um, today we're gonna be changing this bad boy. This guide goes on the inside, paper tray of a Kia Sera 4200, right down there. So, this little area here, right there, you see that? That breaks. Um, when it does, you know, you gotta change it, and this is kind of a big job. But, while I do this, I'm gonna show you a couple other things that you have to remove in the process, so technically this video allows you to do multiple things in once, okay? So like fusing unit, um, uh, a couple other things, some boards on the side and stuff that you can change. So with that said, let's get started. Um, I'm just going to run this video through and kind of just move the camera up a little bit and down a little bit. Feel free to skip this video. Um, skip to where you need to go. So first things first, start removing everything. Okay, paper tray. Done, done. Cover. Two screws. Comes right out. Can you see? Can you see? One. Two. Grab the back section. <clears throat> this will pop right up. Move this off. Don't worry. Don't worry about the noise. Everything's fine. Ribbon cable, don't forget about that. Next up is, I'm gonna remove the drum section, get yourself a flat head. This side, I already took it off, but it's just, just a little um, gray clip that goes right here. This side, gray clip on this side, just get your flat head in there and push it back, down and back. Down and forward. Bam. Jump unit slides right out. There. Now we're going to do the back. Pop that bad boy down. Get your hand in there. Uh, uh, one, two. That's how we do. This cover at the bottom here, just kind of flex it. Flex on them cover. All right, next you got connections. Two connections at the bottom right hand side. Right there. One and two. Slide those out. Get your screwdriver. And there's a screw right here. Can you see it? Let's zoom in a little bit. Make sure you save all your screws. I like to put mine inside of a cup. Mm. Kind of like that. I usually do this with music. It helps. Long repairs. Music tends to go a little well with it. Okay, so now we're just going to route this cable that we unscrewed. And so now we can remove the back. So this one here, also you need to flex the left side. Right here, just kind of flex it in. Actually, we're gonna move this blue cover first. There's three tabs on the inside. One, two, two. Might have had two, maybe not. One, two, and three. Mm. His hair likes to put a lot of tabs on their stuff. It will not damage it. And now flex this side. You kind of push it to the right, and then it'll come out. Okay. So this is off. This is pretty much the process for doing the fusing unit. So I have to remove this fusing unit anyways to do the repair. But this is what you would do to change the fusing unit out. Dun, 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 tilt this bad boy back. Now, to remove the fusing unit, two screws. One. 
to flathead. There's a cover right on the inside here. One second. Hospital phone. This is Brian. Hello there, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I'll be down there in a minute to check it out. Cool. Thank you. Bye bye. We're all good, head. Another flat head. We're going to move this little plate here, just like that. And two connections one big power and one for the sensor. Okay, and this little cover here. Now, the fusing unit will come right out if you remove the two connectors at the top first. Fusing unit is out, so if you just need to do the fusing unit, uh, your video is going to stop right here. Bam! But we doing something much, much, much more today. Now, move it to the side. Screw on the top. Screw on the side. Top cover will come off. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna remove every cover. Another cover. Uh, screw on the front. Screw on the bottom. Screw on the side. Three screws for that. This cover will come off as well. Bam. We're getting to the guts. Do you see? Do you see the guts? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to move the board, like the knit card. Can you see? Can you see me? Right here. All this. Bring it off. Slide this right out from the back. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Board's out. Put that somewhere. Now, we're almost there. It's not too bad. Don't freak out. We're going to tilt this up a little bit. As you can see, hopefully. I'm not trying to get in your way. Okay, so now I'm gonna blow this out a little bit. I got a dust back, but I forgot the nozzle in my car and I'm too lazy to walk back and go get it. Sorry. One more. So pretty much all this is coming out. But don't worry. It's not too bad. So we're gonna start with the connectors. You, you're too hard. Huh. I'll probably fast forward this part of the video. Mm. 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 I'm going kind of fast already. Mm, 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 mm. I wish I had somebody here to hold the camera for me. Maybe that would be a little better. connector ever gets it's too hard to pull off don't risk it take a flat head like this and just get it on the side and kind of pick it out trust me I've broken a connector before and you don't want to do that Bam, that's all things are easy things are easy pull it pull it you and 
Thank you. Sorry, I'm getting in the way. Now that one's kind of hard, so we're going to get in and just kind of wedge it in between. There we go. Come here. Come on, Mama. Don't do this to me. Don't mind my hair. There it is. I said everything has got to go. We want all of this out This cover comes off with just two tags. Slidey to the righty. This cover comes off two, uh, three screws. Mm. Two, tree. Yes, I said tree. Okay, a little closer, a little closer. Let's get these last connections off. One, two. Please be good to me. Please. This one can be a bit of a weird one sometimes. Two, we are off. Cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now just loosen up these screws. Are you guys just in there? So four, just take them all off. Two, three. it loose keep it loose I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little better zoom baby zoom and you can do this in any order you want just just everything's got to go back so just however you want to do it there's no certain way you might have a faster way please tell me I would love to learn because I don't like doing this Doing so many to get easy. Next is one screw there. Oh yeah, that's gonna come off real easy. And then we can take this off. These two motors here. Three screws. Two. Blow that off too. Okay, next is we'll take this easy little fan off. You easy, you easy. You might want to do the easy stuff first. Now, paper free drive assembly. You coming off? Now remember, note this that the paper feed drive assembly has a little longer screws on it. Let me show you that. Oh man, this camera can't focus worth a damn. Anyways, they're a little bit longer. So you know, there's three of them. I just took off two, but I took one off earlier. That connected to that connected to this thing. So that'll be the third screw that's a little bit longer. Good note, trust me. Now, okay, so before, excuse me, let's just get that blue wire. Okay, so before this can come off, you need to remove the three connectors. There's going to be one, two, and three down there. I like to take a flathead because these ones are a little smaller. So lift up on it. 
up. Out. And around. Up, out, and around. So, this part of the video, if you are doing either the paper feed drive assembly, that would be this right there, or the um, developer clutch and registration clutch, I believe these are not here. This is your part of the video. Two screws. Paper feet drop assembly. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not too bad. And the cover. Two clutches. Be sure to keep those uh, in the right direction. All right. So now we're almost there. All we've got left is this board and this board here. So. Easies. Let's do this one. Bottom ground screw. Remember this one's a little bit. Don't touch the don't capacitors, guys. Don't shock yourselves, okay? One last screw there. so close. There's one connector in here, just pull up on it. Mm. Should release. Hopefully I'm in focus and stuff, because like, I'm doing this video by myself. Um, nobody likes me, so um, nobody's helping me. Alright, so this is the last thing we're going to take off. Now this board has two ribbon cables behind it, so just slide your hand behind it. Easy peasy and just pull the ribbon cables out. <clears throat> and this comes out just like that. Now look at that bare bone. Oh, bare bone. No. Almost done. So what I like to do take a Sharpie and just mark the screws. All the screws around here got to come off. There's small ones and big ones. Just kind of mark them because the screws blend in to the frame, so you might miss one. I know I probably did before. So now I just kind of mark them. No one's gonna look in here again. Hopefully you don't do this ever again. And then just note that these two wires here go through this part of the frame, and this wire here will go through this lower portion. You can even put a two here. Remember, small wire, big one, small, big, small, big. This one, medium.